Not certified organic, but not. We have three acres of blueberries, and you guys want to go pick your own, you want to work with it. There's more blueberries there than I could do with them, and they blow over there. Do you have garlic? I got garlic, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I got French garlic, the rest of the How, how did yours work? Was your body just like the blueberries? They didn't grow much. No. Yeah, they didn't grow they much. They told me, I talked to a farmer, he said, because I didn't want it. Yeah, well, right. water is the key. Right now, we, my tomato, we're going to be picking by next week because we've been watering them every day, and they got nice size and they're turning. My peppers, I got 10,000 plants. And they're only about that tall, but they got a paper bigger than fish. So we didn't have water. They're, 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 they're in bad shape. We had, we had a, a rabbit. Yeah, well, I, I put 2,500 pounds of broccoli and I got about 200 pounds left. It was the woodchuck and the deer. And I planted 12,000 pounds of strawberries. And they ate 11,999. We didn't pick one throw out of that field. Yeah, no, one farmer said a deer ate all the beef. Yes. Deer, well, wood, yeah. jack, everybody, yeah. You went right through the whole ball yeah. meat. Actually, about 530, you go, I could sit in my picnic table and walk in my book at my field. You could see the deer coming across and eating. It just cracked. How are your Brussels sprouts doing? I didn't plant any. Oh, no. no, I planted them last year and I didn't, I didn't plant any. Yeah. I, uh, I got some pictures here that we made over the year, and you can take a look at them. And see, they were, we had to try to improve ourselves. So, is your stand open uh, most of the day? Seven days a week, nine to six. Okay. Yeah. And if you visit your home, I'm right next to the stand. Or from, uh, sometimes you go up to six, you ride away from work. And if we have to say that we close, you be your home, somebody will come out and help you out. Because I know people work to see the flag and then they run over and say, oh, they're closed. <laughs> yeah. I, my challenge is, is, I started out and it took me six months to get approved for a loan. And after I got approved, the guy that sold me the farm told me, you, you sent to the bank, but you don't need no more. You gave it to me in the land contract. After that, I've been mean, improving and buying and buying. My problem is like Hispanic. And when I go borrow, I'm looking to buy a farm for $200,000, $300,000. But it's not easy to get a loan being in Hispanic. I mean, you go to a bank and Hispanic used to go get cash to work for a check. I'm going to borrow money to keep growing. Uh, it's, it's a challenge, but they finally got to know me. I've been doing it for 24 years, and now it gets a little easier to, to go through and make, you know, make a loan or, or give more, you know, get supplies and stuff. Yeah. Do, you, do you raise any tropical plants in your greenhouse? We have them, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got uh, oranges, trees, I got uh, elephant trunks, I don't know if it's a big tall tree. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got banana trees. Nice. I hope I get some of those someday. <laughs> yeah. They're probably the little bananas, aren't they? Well, yeah, those uh, little yeah. 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 And my wife got a lot of hibiscus. Yeah, a lot of um, plants that you have to keep in the winter in the house. Yeah. Right. So you still sell to the other um, vegetable stands and yeah. the stores? Yeah, I, I supply Dickie Pine and he supplied me with the top iron plant. You know, he planted the onion and the basil, I plant the whole vegetable. The corner he put the part of the cherry. <coughs> I supply uh, with Jorah in Jamestown, the big warehouse. I got a sunset warehouse in Buffalo. I got an Orient. Keith Miller, I've got Pennsylvania. So we plant a lot of stuff, so I just look for every place that we could, you know, to take it and sell it, and then we buy it up from them too. Nice. Yeah. Embrace the herbs? Uh, not too much of the herbs, and then uh, I'm, I'm a, just strictly vegetable. 
I don't know how to throw a head of cabbage, uh, not cabbage, but lettuce. Um, we live and can't sell them. But then I go to the farmer's market in Fredonia and Dicky Pine will sell a truck full of them. You know how to sell the lettuce and all that stuff. I know how to sell the peaches and tomatoes and zucchini and eggplant. Well, basically, if you put them in a little Ziploc bags, yep. you can probably sell them. But see, I, I never got into them, so the people don't come to my stand to look for them. So when I do buy a big amount of it to pre-sell it, you can I, it. I had to eat two-thirds of it because they don't know I have them in my house. Well, you can dry them, too. Yeah, yeah. I, my I, neighbor, um, a few years ago, got a <coughs> tree. She said it out. Yeah. When she dries. Yeah, I like to leave. If I bring ladders at home, I will go, you know, I'm going to sell that stuff here. What are you bringing? <laughs> yeah, but it's, you know, it's whatever the people want, and they told me, you know, why don't you plant some of this? We go, we go find the seed and we plant. Like white eggplant. We got the white eggplant in the hard to sell because they, they, they laugh. we have a lot more seeds down them, and only a few people love the white eggplant. I never had them. So they the nice test to them. But only a few people would, would, would buy them on uh, I mean, they eat white fish, they get healthy. Yep. That's the way we do it, yeah. And then we plant the white red plant, the purple one, and then we do... I got eight different kinds of pepper. From quick pepper, pepper to half pepper to mid, medium. I mean, jalapeno, from Guyanois, Cayenne, everything. And then we also sell pepper to a guy in Buffalo that makes salt for the Buffalo Bill when the planes um, a bit of food for football. They they ordered all my pepper so they can make the salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, would you like to share what people are sampling right now for the food? Yes, yeah, the, the chili and the mojo, whatever you want to call it, was, was made by a friend of mine with the people and he made the recipe, and it's all from our vegetables in that tan. And then uh, they all eat one thing we bought with the ground beef to put it in there. The bread, a homemade bread that my nephew made, you brought them in the house about 20 minutes ago before I came here. He said, I got two bread, I said, I gotta leave. We made about 75 loaves of the zucchini, um, ba banana, chocolate chip, Blueberry bread, I mean, we just grab a whole bunch of stuff and we start making it and we sell it. We sell more at the time of that. And we brought some more beets, so they run out right away. So we brought, we brought a whole bunch more. So people want more beets and more work to have them. Yes, sir. What's your favorite? Huh? What's your favorite vegetable? My favorite vegetable? Anything that they cook and, cook and put on the plate. <laughs> I'm not picky. My wife will cook it, I eat it. I, I, don't, I don't complain for nothing. The one thing I ate last year and I never ate before was beets. And I could ask the people, how do you cook those beets? Eh, when well, you just you can cook the greens and you can cook the, the, the head. So I went home and told my wife, can you cook this for me? I don't know how to make that, that then go away. I took a frying pan, put the grease in there, put a little bit of olive oil, and just a touch of uh, maple syrup, and uh, ate the green. Then I bought the, 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 the beets itself, and I love it. I mean, I've been eating beets that, that day just about every week. How about eggplant? Eggplant? Yeah. We, we, we just did an uh, eggplant uh, lasagna about two days ago. Uh, with cooked them, we did fry them, we, we rub them, and then we fry them. And then we, we buy uh, bacalao, with, like a catfish. Right. Put some oil and eggs in there and batter it all up. Cook some green banana, which you probably have to eat. Green, green banana, batate, batate. And that's the best thing you do. I like it. You can and freeze to take you to the winter? You can and freeze to take you to the winter? We also have canned jars at home with pasta, tomato sauce, I mean, peaches. Yes, we, we, we made so many that we got some for sale.